Hello. Thanks for coming. I have been out to the car, and I looked and I looked, and I pretty much given up all hope. But then, indeed, I knew I'd put this in a careful spot, and I found it. So these are the two switches. Both of them, I think, are called single pole, triple throw. There are three positions on each switch. There are. I believe. And here is the little connector. And it can't be far from this side where it's supposed to go. I just don't remember where it goes. But I'm going to find out. So I'm going to turn this off. I think it's off. No. Sorry, now it's off. I'll turn it back on after a good warm-up. See if anything appears on the screen. Oh, by the way, oh, this is a continuation of the Super Pet. I had it. It makes good noises. There was weird stuff on the screen, but I wasn't just sure if it didn't need this to give it direction on what it's supposed to do. So I'm going to shut it down. And then with great care, because I don't want to drop it, I don't want to hurt anything, and I don't want to spill my drink here, I'm going to turn it to try and figure out where it is. Aha! I believe I have found it. This, as always with Commodore things, this one has one, two, three, four, five. It has seven connectors possible. One of them is blocked off, which means you can only put this on the right way. And look, right here is a connector exactly of that description. Just with there being three boards, it's hard to get into to get it on. This, of course, I think it's fall. Oh, I think it had fallen off for a time or two. It has some duct tape applied to it. But these things happen. All right, oh, come on, baby. So the power is off, and I am. These trifocals are a beautiful thing. It's just right where I'm at. It's kind of there, right in the middle of which. Oh. Where, uh, how I would like to be able to see. Uh, it will go. It will go. I'm just going to get it lined up and flipped over. It's pushed down. Ah! Okay, it's on. Okay. Slow and special. So this does have a lot of weight to one end of it. I'm, I don't remember which way is what. So I'm going to, I've got it switched towards the back. I'm going to turn it on. And what do I hear? Nothing. I see a green thing. That's never necessarily good. I'm going to put them both to the front. I see a green thing. All right, I'll put them both to the middle. Uh -huh. So I heard things that sounded good, but once again, I'm getting nothing on the screen. At least not yet. Alright, so we definitely have something that is not as it should be. What is that thing? I don't know. Here's where this, I think it's, it's supposed to hook over the edge here. I'm going to turn it on one more time. I think I'm in the right mode. So it makes the noise. We don't have the display. 
And this is very hard to get at right now, to, to you know, look at anything. And I'm not going to stick my hand up in the monitor blind. Monitors have thousands of volts. They do. So, I'm just glancing. Maybe we can get a little more light. inside and will I see anything that you know suddenly a light bulb moment that oh yeah that's what's wrong no, I, don't think so. I believe this board in the top is the RAM board and the board underneath here that I can't see is the one the super pet board but at some point I'm going to have to take this out and, and right here I, I'm sure you can't see this I can do this there is another card stuck into a thing here. I don't know what it is or why. I don't remember seeing it before, but it's probably perfectly fine. Oh. Well, that's interesting. And looking inside here right now, typically along this side of the machine, there's three, I think they're power transistors. <laughs> Should have looked at this earlier. I only see two. You know what? I'm going to turn this off. I wonder if there is something terribly wrong. But it looks very dusty. I'll have to look at others. Let's see, there's also a connector here. Now, I don't know. Well, I guess that's where it's supposed to be. That's where the, that's the signal from the monitor. There's another connector here that I seem to remember seeing things on, but I don't see anything on them. But once again, it's been a long time since I have gone into a super pet. It is. It is indeed. Well. I suppose my hello, my plan of action will very likely be to take the board out of this machine, the two boards, with great care. I'll be taking pictures. I'll be shooting video while I do it, um, and see. Um, if the 8032 part is working. Because if it's not working... Oh, I don't think... Oh, oh, well. Oh, am I done? I've got something under here. Hello. Oh, yeah, the switches. Okay. I just want to get these, everything, into a safe position so that nothing is going to fall. The penny can't do anything. I'm curious about the power transistor, whether it's supposed to be there or it's not supposed to be there. I don't really have something handy. As you can see, kind of disorganized. I have too much stuff here. I'm going to unplug this completely. Ouch. Ouch. There you go. And leave it at that for the moment and, uh, and investigate further on another machine as to what is what. So, I like the fact that it makes the sound. I wish the display would come up, but these machines are 40 years old and never expected to last this long and never expected anyone would be interested in them this long. So be it. Things happen. Oh, but here it is. Now, be interesting after I hit this with a magic eraser to see how much of this there there is. I think it's just the stains of time and probably sl slight moisture and then sawdust going on. So I think it's going to come out looking quite nice. But of course what we really want to do is have it working. Or have it help another one work. Or something of that nature. Anyway, welcome to the world of the super pet otherwise known as the SP-9000. 
a tremendous project created by Commodore and the University of Waterloo, of which my niece is a graduate in, of all things, I think it was something to do with computer science, I think. Anyway, my phone makes noise, and there's not much I can do right now. So, until we meet again, stay safe, stay on the right side of the turf, and uh, we'll see you again soon. As always, questions, comments, I'm all ears. I do my best to answer everything, although keep in mind, it always tells me when there's new comments, but it doesn't tell me when there's comments on the comments. So I do look back to see if there's anything I've missed, but I may miss something. So I try not to. So if I don't seem to answer your comment, um, then leave, leave it on another video so it comes up as a new comment and I'll see it for sure. But I try to keep up on these things. Uh, I was going to say something else. Um, oh yeah, I, I also have been adding w other ways to get in touch with me, such as email, Facebook, Instagram, in the description. So. Anyway, if you have something to say, don't hesitate to say it. There have been some people who have written to me lately since I started doing that, and it is, as always, much appreciated, and I will do my best to be helpful in whatever way I can. Um, and if I can't be helpful, then I, like there was a fellow yesterday asking, you know, if I had some stuff um, to do with the RTC um, microshare, micro I don't know what they called it now. It wasn't called the microshare. Something. It was a thing to hook all kinds of machines together on a disk drive. Um, and I don't have any of that stuff. Um, but I thought of a name of somebody who I know that used to work at RTC, and I thought, well, maybe, possibly. So, you know, he'll, he, I think he's found him. And now we'll see. Maybe he has a clue. Maybe he doesn't. Um, but, you know, the stuff is out there. Somebody's probably got it. Unfortunately, a lot of the stuff... Um, was probably scrapped back, well, in the 80s or 90s when school boards were saying, well, we've had enough of those things. And especially the silly ass thing they did in Ontario where they came out with their own specifications for something and had these very expensive things made. Oh, I think it was called the Icon. Instead of saying, okay, hey, we got all these Commodore things and these Apple things and yeah, we'll buy them and we'll use them. They said, oh no, we got to have our own. Yeah, I wonder where they are these days. Yes, they're collector's items. But some people, I guess, thought they were okay. Reminds me of, let me talk about stupid. There was a fellow up north, he had a junkyard. And it had the same name and the same phone number forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. And really, the thing that people knew was the phone number to call because it had been advertised for years and years and years, like 30, 40 years. And then he sold it to this new guy and he says, oh, I want my own phone number. Guess what? Nobody called. Hardly anybody called. A lot of people who might have reached out to him didn't know the new number. And, you know, there, this was a while ago before there was easy access to the internet and Siri and other things, so they just, they called somebody else. And the guy who took it over failed miserably. Ha <laughs> oh, yeah, I want my own phone number. Gotta have my own phone number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want your old one that actually will bring me tons and tons of business and make sure I'm successful. That would be not right. No, no, I want my own phone number. Brilliant. Brilliant. Anyway, enough. I am going to... Um, ponder, tinker, and uh, see what else I might get into this afternoon. So welcome to the world of a dusty super pen. Maybe what I will do is get a magic eraser and just try and clean this one side up and see how it comes. Because I think in just running my finger over it, it does feel like this stuff will come off. Because, you know, if even if a machine doesn't work, if somebody's setting up a display, like in a museum, it doesn't matter if it goes on. Like, I know, at Waterloo, somewhere, there's a case, a cabinet, encased in glass, where they have a super pen. And probably in 8050, and all the stuff to say, ooh, look what we did. 
Now, does that machine work? Is there even anything in it? Who knows? They don't care. It's there. And people can say, ooh, look at that. So, it's nice to have the case in good shape. So, yes. Enough for now. Perhaps I will get a magic eraser and see what I can see. Stay tuned. Thanks for coming. As you know, today we've looked at a Vic, two Vicks, a 64, and a Super Pet. What is next? Well, we'll see what tomorrow brings. And yes, once again, <laughs> I have to get tidied up. Ah! Or, as a, a teacher I had at high school, he was forever saying, gotta get organized, gotta get organized, gotta get organized, gotta get organized. He's now, I think, well into his 80s. He's still trying to get organized. And so am I. Onward. Thanks for coming. Bye for now.